Okay, so the first problem is, a 200 newton force is exerted onto a body northward. Then, a 600 newton force is exerted to the east. The first question, what is the resultant force? And the second question, what force would cause the body to be in static equilibrium? First, let's uh, look at the first one. What is the resultant force? Let's draw the grid first so we can see what we're working it with. So, the first force is 600 newtons to the east. And then, 200 newtons to the north. You can use the uh, head-to-tail method here in order to find what this is. And by using some trigonometry, we, we can say that this is uh, square root of 200 squared plus 600 squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, let me just input it. The answer is around 632.46 uh, newtons. Right? So that's the magnitude. What is the direction? Well, we know that it is north of east, since this is the angle right here. But what is the angle? Well, let's use the handy-dandy formula, arc tangent of y over x. That is uh, the angle that we're trying to find. So we're trying to find arc tangent of the y, which is 200 newtons, over the x, which is the 600 newtons. Putting that into our calculator, we lead around 18.43 degrees. So we can say that the answer is 632.46 newtons, 18.43 degrees north of east. That's the first question. This is letter A. What about letter B? Well, let's draw the, the grid again here. We know that the angle the, the angle for uh, the first one is this 18.43 degrees. And then this is 632.46 newtons. So the opposite, uh, the force that would make it an equilibrium would be exactly opposite of that. It would be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, what is the magnitude of this? This should be 632.46. What's the angle? Well, we do know that this, this is a straight line. So this and this angle should be the same. This should also be 18.43 degrees. And indeed, that is the answer. The answer is 632.46 newtons and 18.43 degrees. What direction is this? Well, we don't know this is west and this is south. So this is south of west. All right. For our next question, we have to find the resultant of one half A plus B plus two C. Given that A is six meters forty five degrees north of east, uh, B is five meters thirty degrees uh, east of north, and C is four meters going south. Now, it is given that we need to find one half A plus B plus two C. We have to multiply A by one half. We have to multiply C by two. What does that exactly mean? Well, that only means that we have to add, uh, we have to multiply the magnitudes of A by one half. So six meters times one half, we know that to be three meters. That's no problem. And two times four meters, that's going to be eight meters. So that's no problem. So the three vectors that we do need is, uh, let's draw another one. 3 meters, which is 45 degrees, 5 meters and 30 degrees, as well as 4 meters going south. So a trick here is to, to do the xy table. 1 half a and b and 2 c. There we go. So we just need to find the x coordinates of the vector and the y coordinates of the vectors. Well, how are we going to do that? Do the first one. The first one, it is six meters. All right. But the one half a, this has to be three meters. So one half a 
is 3 meters. What is the x or the horizontal uh, coordinate or the horizontal component of this vector? Well, this is just uh, 3 meters times cosine 45. And similarly, for y, we just have to find the sine 45. So 3 meters sine 45. For b, it is 5 meters, but we need it go it goes to the west, so it's negative 5 meters. And then we have to find the sine of 30, since it is opposite. And then for the other one, it's going north. So it's also uh, positive. It's positive this time. So this is 5 meters cosine of 30 degrees. And then for the south, it's going down. So it's only uh, negative 4 meters here and then 0 meters here since it's not going uh, to the left or right. And then we just have to add this. I'll use it on the calculator. You can use yours. For the x, the answer is around negative three. Uh, sorry, negative zero point three eight uh, meters. Uh, let's save that. And for y, it is around two point for five meters all right so with this uh, in mind what is the vectors let's do the grid again the x component goes 0 0.38 meters to the west since it is negative and the y component goes 2.45 meters to the north since it is positive so it goes around here. So that is the vector. All right. So how do we find the magnitude of this? Well, what we have to do is to just use the Pythagorean theorem. So 2.45 squared plus 0 0.38 squared. And then we put the square root of that. So the answer for that is around 2.48 meters or if you want to be exact uh let me do the exact one it's around 2.48 meters yeah, it is 2.48 so there we go what about the angle well it is arctan of y over x and uh arctan y over x that will be Around uh, it's around uh, eighty one point twenty two degrees. So we can say that the vector is answer two point forty eight meters, eighty one point twenty two degrees. And then what direction? Well, it seems to be going in this direction. So this is the 81.22 degrees. This is west and this is north. So this is north of west. That's your answer.